So we have uh, quite a few cards left to go towards the second part of the reading. The overall energy of this reading, Queen of Cups. This is water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer that might be strong in your chart or in someone else's around this reading. But this is your energy. You have questions about love. You may have someone on your mind about love. And your questions could be like, do they love me? Do I really love them? Um, you know, whatever they might be, because that cup is full of answers. So, your mind is on someone. Your mind is on love. So, let's keep reading. Up in your highest energy, I have the Three of Pentacles. Ooh, it feels like, yeah, whoever you're thinking about, you did not see eye to eye on how to uh, move forward, how to be grounded, how to be uh, committed or stable. There might have been a third energy involved where three's a crowd somehow. Um, these are the two strongest energies in your entire reading. So you haven't forgotten about someone. You're thinking about someone. Um, that I don't think really panned out, really didn't, you know, turn into anything major because of the pentacles, because of the three of pentacles. But I have the three of cups right next to the three of pentacles and right above the queen of cups. You're hoping for a reunion. You still love this person. Let's see if you get that reunion. You just might get that reunion. There's two cups being spilled into one here. This is about um, love. It's about celebration. It's a beautiful card. So, you know, it's right above the Queen of Cups. You, you might really be hoping for this. And I hope you get what you want in this reading. I have the Wheel of Fortune right next to the Three of Cups. You might, you know, because this is the universe. And the universe, they got a hold of you. And they're trying to move you towards your better, always towards your better, the universe. And uh, they're like pushing you, pulling you, whispering in your ear. You might be making some decisions to help move yourself forward towards a reunion with somebody that maybe you didn't see eye to eye with before. They were slow on handing out a pentacle. They, were, they hung on to it. They have one. They can if they want to. I don't think they were ready. I think that's just basically maybe they were seeing someone else at the time. But uh, the circumstances had it that they could not hand out a pentacle at the, at when you really wanted to be grounded. Okay, Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy in the whole deck. But look at that big pentacle that it's bringing in. Wow. And it is next to the Queen of Cups. Whoa, I kind of feel like they're coming in. I, I feel like they're coming in. I feel like things are, it's like a circle and they're coming back around. I got the hangman next to the queen of cups and under the wheel. You have spent a lot of time uh, to yourself giving this a lot of thought and you've been really enlightened about, um, I think, what, what happened. You're getting a lot of your answers. The hangman is very spiritual. I have the Seven of Pentacles under the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you waited. You waited and waited uh, for commitment here. I got to see. It's exactly what I thought here. It's like this bush. It blossomed, but it never bore fruit. And you, you waited. I think you gave a lot of time to this relationship. And it wasn't panning out. But you love this person. And you're still, I think you're still waiting for them to return with a pentacle. I think you're so much in love with this person. But next to the Seven of Pentacles and under the Queen of Cups is the Sun. My favorite card, Fresh Darts, New Beginnings. Lots of love and lots of joy. So I do think they're coming back in. Look at the way these cards are falling. I think they're coming back in. They're slow uh, to come back in. They're slow to make an offer that you would really like. Uh, but... You know, the universe is involved here. I have the Ace of Cups next to the sun and under the hanged man. Look at all that love you have. You know, I think that they have love for you too. This is a very powerful card as far as love goes. That cup just runs over with love. So, 
That is part of your questions. Do they love you? I think they're coming back in because they do love you. There's the other. Okay. So the Empress showed up right next to the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. The Empress, Libra or Taurus, might be strong in someone's chart here. Well, the Empress, this you know, this is your energy. You're a beautiful person. You're very kind. You're thoughtful. You're loving. You're considerate. You're you're giving. You're uh, respectful. I could go on and on. So you have all these beautiful qualities about you. You, if you're a parent, you're a really good parent. Sometimes there can be uh, pregnancy involved in this reading. All cards are male or female. And all the kings and queens are very mature in their thinking. So the will. It's like, you know, you deserve good. You deserve what's best for you. And whoever you move forward with must have a lot of those same qualities. Okay. But then right next to the empress, I have the king of cups. Water again, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer that might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. You have a huge cup of love. Look at that. Not able to hand it out. You really love this person. You do. But you haven't been able to hand it out. This is a soulmate. Now, they're coming back in. Remember I told you there's two cups of love being poured into one? There's going to be a reunion with this person, and you're going to be able to share love. Beautiful reunion coming in. The wheel is helping you get there. Your answers to your questions are going to be answered when they return. So, five of swords. There's the answers to your questions right there. The five of swords. Picking up those swords of truth and of clarity. Letting a past, like the past go. You're just letting it go. You know, the three of pentacles. You're letting it go. All the waiting. And you're going to have truthful conversations. You're going to find out a lot. I have the King of Swords under the Empress and next to the Hangman. Your energy. You're kind of like blocked a little bit. You're a little on guard about yourself. You don't want to be hurt, okay? I feel like you were hurt before um, because it didn't go the direction you wanted it to. But you have never, ever um, stopped loving this person. So you have your sword out. You're going to seek the truth and the clarity. Your sword is out over there with the five of swords. And um, it, it's like you're going to hold true to yourself. Um, you're going to figure out, it, do they have a lot of the same qualities? And um, is this really what you truly want? Because you start maybe start to doubt because of this three of pentacles. I have the emperor now next to the king of swords and under the king of cups. This is a card for Aries. Aries might be strong in your chart or in someone else's around the reading. But this is holding true to yourself. Being next to the King of Swords. Yeah, you are holding true to yourself. You know what you want. And if you're not going to be, you know, wanting to commit or give that uh, idea a serious consideration, I don't think you're going to want to move forward. So uh, you hold true to yourself. You're very well liked and respected by others, by the way. And you might even be a leader in your profession. But you have um, everything it takes uh, to make this work. Um, but holding true to yourself is the main thing. You know what you want. You want the Ten of Cups. That's what you want. And that is an equal exchange of love. Sunshine and rainbows. It's very family-oriented, this card. It's a beautiful card. There's so much joy and love in that card. So you will get to the bottom of things. You're going to figure things out. You're going to hold true to yourself. You know you want the Ten of Cups. And you know you want commitment. So I have the Four of Pentacles under the King of Swords and next to the Ace of Cups. So you have all this love that you've been hanging on to. They have two though. I think they love you too. I don't know what was going on before, but it looks like they're back. Uh, and it is a beautiful reunion. So the four pentacles here, um, you just kind of hung on to your pentacles and, and stayed stable and secure in being you and being yourself. Hung on to your cup of love until you could get the truth, until you could get the clarity, until you could reconnect and get some uh, get the air cleared. I have the ace of swords next to the four of pentacles. 
and under the emperor. You're going to make it known what you expect from a relationship, and you're going to seek the truth and clarity about what they expect. This is going to like open up the clouds and allow the light to shine in on this relationship. So it does look like it's it's coming to fruition. It does look like you're finally showing up with a pentacle. And um, it does look like they do love you. Okay? But you need to know all this. And you, you just got to hold true to yourself. That's what you're going to do. And I have the temperance right next to the Ace of Swords and under the Ten of Cups. So your guardian angels and spirit guides have been around you. This is your card for, for Sagittarius right here. Um, but their job is to help you be tempered. So their job is to help you be grounded, balanced, and patient. And that's what you've been trying to do, and it is paying off in this reading. So all this patience, all this trying to just not freak out and try to be balanced, and um, I think you always knew that they loved you and, and could never figure out why. They don't come forward with this pentacle, but you, you will find out what happened, what was going on before you move forward. Wow. Regarding angels, the spirit guides were doing you a good job. And I'm going to take a card out from them uh, to see what kind of message they have for you. It may or may not have to do with this reading. It's something they want you to hear, though. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's find out. What message do your guardian angels and spirit guides have for you? Here. This is the six of abundance. I'm going to read it to you. Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you. An unexpected gift is on its way. Accept it with gratitude and humility, knowing that you'll have a chance to return the generosity by giving others to others in the future. Consider volunteering for a charitable organization. Wow, so it's like what goes around comes around, and you're going to be a part of that. Wow. 